Many people in Belarus feel let down by their president. Ksenia Milia's grandfather died of coronavirus in March. She says it's because he believed everything Alexander Lukashenko said. The statements of the president were absurd, denying and blaming people for getting sick. He said that the cure is riding a tractor, a shot of vodka and a sauna. When the outbreak was at its height, Belarus was the only country in Europe to keep playing sport, its leader refusing to impose any restrictions. So far it's escaped the worst of the pandemic with less than 600 deaths. Mr Lukashenko says he caught the virus but had no symptoms. Apart from Minsk and big cities, this is not a problem. The biggest responsibility is our economy. But the public's faith in their leader has been rattled. Ignoring a government ban, thousands gathered in Minsk at the biggest rally since Belarus gained independence from the Soviet Union almost 30 years ago. 37-year-old Svetlana Tikhanovskaya has emerged as the leading opposition candidate. She's one of three women who has stood in place of their jailed partners. Now her campaign manager has been arrested, fueling further anger against the man dubbed Europe's last dictator. People are unhappy and the coronavirus played no small role. People are getting interested in politics and it's becoming hip among young people. Whether they turn against their old leader in sufficient numbers should be clear in the next few days. Michael Troy, ABC News.